and I never know if it's me or the computer. Hello, here I am. I feel a lot better than yesterday. I feel a million times better than I did at the end of the Wolves game. I should not have gone to the Wolves game. What that did was put me in a sold-out Target Center. Sold out for the third time this year, by the way. They're all Bulls fans wearing Bulls gear. They're all obnoxious. But it's basically my body saying, please, put me in a space that's too hot, surrounded by people, and just give me every virus that they have and, and attack my fragile immune system and just give me a second shot of illness. So by the time I was home from the Wolves game, I was just so awful. And if I hadn't had some meetings I really had to go to yesterday, and by meetings I mean conference calls I probably could have made at home, but I'm not smart enough to think ahead that way. I wouldn't have come in tomorrow. I wouldn't have come in yesterday. Good God. My brain's still not out there, you can tell. But today it's been a lot better. As you can tell, I'm talking to you instead of being very emotional. Although that went over really well. I guess it's that deal of... You know, if you record a 20-second video, that really leaves people wanting more. Although, thankfully, the, the uh, views didn't spike, which means there weren't a lot of you who were, like, repeatedly playing it over and over, which would have worried me. The question was asked, what kind of tea do I drink when I'm not relying on office tea? Here is a stashed tea bag of English breakfast. Here's Irish breakfast. It's a lot like English breakfast, but there's more potato in it. If you want to see what stash looked like probably 20 years ago... I'm still working off a 10-pack of licorice spice, which I don't drink for the taste, but, you know, I don't believe in all that homeopathic stuff, but licorice tea is really the greatest thing in the world for a sore throat, other than eucalyptus cough drops, which you can only get at Walgreens, because I guess only old people are interested in eucalyptus cough drops. So that's the story of how we got you here. It's currently 6.47. I'm going to miss 30 Rock, I can tell. 30 Rock starts at 7. I won't be home by 7. I'll catch it on the DVR, maybe, or maybe I won't bother. And it's not a big deal for me whether I see 30 Rock or not, but my wife likes it. Um, it's 10 degrees. Can you believe it? Yesterday, when I left for work, it was 37 and raining. Not good. By the time I left, it was uh, 18, as I forgot to say in the video. It's just been kind of on that downward slope since. So 10 degrees right now. By tomorrow, it should be single digits uh, leaving for work and the occasional flurry, but no real snow. There were some flurries on the way to work, but nothing to get excited about. And people are excited, or whatever the opposite of excited is, because they're worried about the snow. Where's the snow? Can't have any fun. There's no snow. Sorry. I've been making so many... This is how weak it is now, but it still tastes licorice-y, even though it doesn't have any color to it. And even though it's 15 or 20 years old. So, good work, Stash. Uh, it was suggested that I'm the cheapest man in the world, and I suppose letting you know that I've had the same uh, tea bags in a bin for 15 or 20 years isn't going to help that any, but I'm comfortable with who I am. Um, there was something else I was going to tell you about, and I can't remember what it was. We had an election on Tuesday, and just to give you an idea of the the district I live in, the DFL candidate won 80% to 20%, pretty much what I predicted. So there's not a lot of room for comfortable debate there. It's, it's blue, and it's going to stay blue, and there's not a lot you can do about it. So protest vote away my friends. Or, you know, be a Democrat and follow the crowd. Nothing wrong with that. I got a couple subscribers. Thank you. Cerebus outed himself as uh, 1E2FD3C whatever. Thank you, Cerebus. That solves all that mystery. I got a couple new YouTube subscribers who don't have accounts. One of them is uh, a co-worker down the hall who outed himself to me. Thank you, Scott. If you ever want to follow somebody on uh, Google+, Plus who is more entertaining than me, you can follow anybody, but you can follow Scott, uh, Scott Gallatin, G-A-L-L-A-T-I-N. I'm sure he's happy I'm shouting his name out. Well, I guess I'll find out next time he walks by the office and books his head in. 
people from work are following me on Twitter now. And I don't know if that means I'm supposed to be paying more attention to the fact that I'm originating these from semantic property or not worry so much about it because it is after hours. But Bill Coleman, if you're watching this, hello. I hope I'm entertaining you. I hope you figure out Twitter, buddy. Uh, let me know if you need some help on that, though. That's probably it. Where are we at? Five and a half minutes. I know there were some questions I was supposed to answer. Obviously, I'm pushing all that for tomorrow. So if you have something, you want to get to the top of the list, ask something really exciting and ask it now so I don't have to dig back a couple days to find it. But I will get to everything eventually. Sure, I will. Um, I did have something else in mind that's just flown out of there. So I guess I'll wrap it up. Six minutes is enough. I don't want to torture you to this tortured, sickly voice any longer, so. Uh, did I show you my Packers gear? Yes. We'll have more on the Packers tomorrow, I'm sure. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your continued support. I remember what it is now. I received my first dislike. Sure enough, I saw it on YouTube for one of my videos. Thank you to the disliker. I have truly arrived. And it only took six or seven episodes to do it. But that'll wrap up episode eight. Again, from Roseville, Minnesota, to the world, I'm CRZ. Thank you so much. You know how to find me, crz.net. Comment below.